Hello viewers, today for initial checkout we have a set of General Electric 5.8 GHz cordless telephones. This is the model 25861GE3-B. And this was made by the Thompson. Made in the China. Ooh, made in China. I am using the testing AC adapter for this because I don't have the original adapter. So if there's any kind of background noise or buzzing sounds or anything like that heard on the telephone, that's probably a function of the adapter and not necessarily the phone itself. So this is yet another strange looking creation by the GE. I don't think GE sold a single phone that looked normal. They're all some weird shape. These handsets look really strange to me. The button layout is totally unintuitive and just cluttered and illogical. This is so tall it almost just falls right over. This cradle is the broken and it's broken in a very strange way. The bottom is just loose and you can hear something in there so we have to get that fixed. But it still seems to electrically be working. The charge light does illuminate on both of them. The contacts are a little dirty on this one. Well, this was working. Maybe the adapter is coming loose. There it goes. And it did reset the security code. Okay, so by some miracle, the screens work. Every pixel seems to work. Which is shocking. The buttons don't feel too good. That probably is just because they need to be coined. There's the writing on this screen. I don't know what moron did that. This isn't charging consistently. The contacts probably are dirty, that's all. Yeah, there's like a little film over them. The lights are so dim I can't even tell if they're on or off. There it goes. Okay. So, let's begin by calling these up. Okay. What seems to be the problem? What am I doing wrong here? It is the ringing. Oh, is the rings just off? I guess so, because there's the call ID information. Okay, so we need to turn a ring on. It's so good as a phone that doesn't ring. Oh, what's also here to snotty startup instructions? They, the individual has a really attitude. Press review key to receive setup instructions. Okay, 
review. Press and hold announcement key to record announcement. Release key to stop recording. Press announcement key to check announcement. Press and hold minute or hour key to set time. Press minute key to set exact minute. Press and hold day check key to set day. Press day check key to check date and time. Press and hold skip key to change language. So, where's the ringer volume? I see on the handsets there's a switch. So, we'll turn that on. But I'm not sure that the bass even has a ring anymore. I would think that it should, but maybe it doesn't. Please leave a message. We'll call you when we return. Thanks. Okay. Answer off. Answer on. All right. I don't understand. I guess there's just no ring on the base. I don't know. Well, now that the handset rings are on, let's call again. Okay, at least they're working now. The charge light on the base is flicking. Okay, there appears to be a message on there already. Which I didn't record it, so I guess it's old. Let's set the time. Please leave a message. We'll call you when we return. Thanks. Monday, 12, 14 a.m. Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, 12, 14 a.m. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Friday, 12, 14 a.m. Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, 12, 14 a.m. 1 a.m. 2 a.m. 3 a.m. 4 a.m. 5 a.m. 6 a.m. 7 a.m. 8 a.m. 9 a.m. 10 a.m. 11 a.m. 12 p.m. 1 p.m. 2 p.m. 3 p.m. 4 p.m. 5 p.m. 6 p.m. 7 p.m. 8 p.m. 9 p.m. I will say the number pronunciation is pretty clear. I'll give it that. Sunday, 9, 14 p.m. 14, 15, 16, 20, 25, 30, 30, 5, 40, 40, 5, 50, 50, 5, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, one. O two, O three, O four, O five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. Sunday, nine, twenty three p.m. Okay, now let's see if there's a message. There is. The screen's kind of hard to see. There is a message on there. Let's go ahead and play that. You have one message. Message one. So I just about to eat this strawberry and I'm looking at it closer and I realize that something has eaten me to it. Look at that. Something ate it. Throw a guard that makes me so irritated. Monday, 12, 02 a.m. End of messages. I don't understand how I got on that answering machine because I've never called it before. I talked about strawberries, but. Inherently, at some point, I have called this and talked about strawberries. Not, not quite sure I understand that. Anyways, is the answer on? Answer off. Answer on. Please leave a message. We'll call you when we... Please leave your message after the tone. Okay, I'm going to turn the volume all the way down. 
so that we don't have a call screening freak show. And let's call it and record a message. After the tone. Hello, this message is for the Goose Guy. I was wondering if you could go to the hardware store for me and pick up some donuts without the high fructose corn syrup in it. You can pay for them in Amazon gift cards. Goodbye. Okay, it stopped recording. It's now flashing too very very quickly I'll bring the volume back up the screen is almost invisible with that light on you have one new message new message one hello this message is for the goose guy I was wondering if you could go to the hardware store for me and pick up some donuts without the high fructose corn syrup in it you can pay for them and Amazon gift cards. Glide. Sunday, 9.25 p.m. End of new messages. Pretty typical deplorable Digitan audio quality for one of these machines. Okay, let's record a new announcement. The announcement is the recording. Record a message or I'm not calling you back. The announcement is the recording. Record the message or I'm not calling you back. Okay, we'll put the volume back down and let's call again. The announcement seemed to be better quality than the messages themselves. Oh jeez, the, the testing phone just fell apart. The hook switch came out. Not the hook switch, the, the hook. Is everything going to break today? Okay, I think it stopped recording. You can see on this numeric display, I don't know if it'll pick up on the camera or not, but some of the, the sections are dimmer than others. I'll see it when I change the volume here. See how the L is much brighter. You have one new message. New message. One. The announcement seemed to be better quality than the messages themselves. Sunday, 9.27 p.m. End of new messages. Okay, let's record a memo. Go!
Bruce. You have one new message. New message. One Bruce. Sunday, nine twenty-nine p.m. Okay, that seems End to work. Of new messages. You have four messages. Me message two. Message three. Message three. Message three. Me message one. Okay, so all that seems to be working. Let's delete those messages out of there. Okay, it's back to zero. Alright, so now let's move on to the handset. Now we'll use this one because we can actually see the screen. Now let's see. Press, press program. These buttons are really small. So it has three languages on there. Area code here is 203. See, I just pressed 3 and 6 at the same time. I'm trying to type that in. Ringer tone 1. Wow, what a selection of ringers. <laughs> Why even have the, the different options at that point? That's it? That's it. It's just, just that. Incredible. Default. I don't know what that means. Now back to handset one. Let's see here. Can we get into the call ID log? Even all the other pixels work. They all work. That's incredible. Hardly anything by the Thompson had working screens. It was usually the Atkins stuff that had working screens. So, but then again, some people were saying that the Thompson and the Atkins is the same thing. I don't know. I don't understand them. Anyway, so that's that. Uh, we have call right D. Let's get out of there. You can access the answer. The screen is getting very dim. Ah, the battery just quit. Yeah, this is yeah, that battery is kind of old. Okay, well, we'll just work with this phone, then, even though we can't see the screen. So let's, uh, let's make an outside call here. I'll turn the amplifier on. And I'll switch this over to the mains. And here we go. <coughs> that was strange. Sounds okay. Uh, so that you know, the wine stand will be open. So let's see if we can transfer this. They both say transferring. Let's see if we can get this before the battery dies. Okay, well it did work. Even though the battery didn't last very long at all. Okay, let's call, I'll call the testing engine machine and record a message from both of these handsets. I have not been able to record the testing messages because the base does not seem to recognize that the battery died. Let's see, it still says in use. Meanwhile, neither of the handsets are in use. And I can't get either one to connect. I even put this one here in the base and it seems to just ignore the presence of the handset in the base. I don't know how long the timeout period is. I know with the unit in it would time out after a certain period of time after not communicating. So we'll just pull the power and try again. Okay, now, now I think I can record the messages. 
Two new messages and 15 old messages. Message one. Okay, this is testing message number one on this 5.8 gigahertz Thompson telephone. I suspect it's the analog. It's on channel 19, and so far it sounds pretty clear. As I mentioned before, if there is a background hum of some kind, that's probably from the adapter. And I don't know what frequency it is. I'm sure it's dual band. I suspect it's 5.8 over 2.4, 5.8 over 900. I'm near the water equipment and I'm hearing a lot of static already. So the range is probably not very good on this telephone at all. Okay, now I'm going back towards the studio. I have entered into the studio, and I'm going to put this telephone directly onto the cradle so we can say, hear what it sounds like when it's hung up into the cradle. Message two. I just switched over the battery, so now we're on the other handset, and this is, in fact, handset one. The other one was handset number two. Okay, I'm leaving the studio now. And I'm walking across the other room. I'm almost near the water equipment. I'm hearing the static again on this one as well. Okay, now I'm at the water equipment. I'm still hearing a plethora of static. This one is also on channel 19. I'm going to change that now. And select the channel 28. I don't know if channel 28 is any clearer. It sounds about the same to me as far as the static is concerned. And it sounds like this is all transmit static, not receive static, so it definitely is going to be a dual band phone. Okay, I'm back in the studio. I'm going to turn this telephone off via the talk button. End of messages. Interesting squelch sounds when it hangs up and changes the channel, but it seems to be working okay, other than the limited range, which kind of expected. I'm now noticing there's some verbiage here in the cradle about if it says it's unavailable. Revision zero. Okay. So, it looks like these are working. The buttons need to be cleaned up. Everything needs to be cleaned up. Let's check the paging. That works. The other one, I don't have battery in it anymore. Um, so, yeah, it needs some repairs. The, the cradle is jacked up, so we'll fix that. And the contacts need to be cleaned. The buttons need to be cleaned. Everything needs to be cleaned. But after that, it should be a good working system. Well, good is arguable. A, a working system.